Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty. Shout out to the Global Power Ambassadors. I am back with another Raising Canaan Season 4 Theory and Prediction video. And y'all, I literally just finished watching Episode 10 again. I ran through the entire third season of Raising Canaan. I have about 20 videos for y'all. And to start it off with, I am going to explain to y'all why Snaps and Pop are the people who definitely helped Kanan set up and kill Ronnie. Now, if you heard anything similar from my competitors last year during the third season of Raising Kanan, what I'm going to add is the possibility and likely the definite opportunity that Stefano had and was presented within this situation, the role Stefano played within this situation, and the role that he gave to Unique and the involvement that he had Unique have, as we've seen him at the end of episode 10, as well as what we can expect to see from these characters in season 4. This video is going to be another banger. Come on now. Y'all know I wouldn't be gone for too long. I was just getting the content ready for y'all. So without further ado, let's get to it, man. Snaps and Pop definitely helped Kanan set up and kill Ronnie. What we got to think about is the fact that even though Kanan did catch his first body, even though Kanan shot his dad, that would have been his first body, even though he's responsible for murders that he was not there, right? For indirect murders. He's still not smart enough to pull the kidnapping idea off and did not have the resources either, okay? When you look at all the kidnappers involved, right? All the extra people that you've seen around Ronnie and Kane, those kidnappers and workers were provided to them by Snaps and Pop, okay? Ronnie... Ronnie did not prove himself to be the person who had the capabilities of being a leader. When he had the block on Smash, that was given to him by Def Con or High Post or somebody like that, okay? He was not able to galvanize people on his own. And you seen what Kanan was working with. Just a bunch of people who they got into the drug game, but they were just delivery boys, okay? Now... When you think about Snaps and Pop and their enrollment, I mean, their involvement in this whole situation, they probably gave Ronnie the green light to kill Rock because she had become a problem. But once he botched the job, they decided to use Kanan to kill Ronnie. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would they do that if it's not so obvious? It's because they would thus be ending a huge war before it happened. Now, if you're from the streets, if you used to get money in the streets illegally, right? If you grew up around people who got money in the streets illegally, right? They will always say, we don't want to really have no bloodshed, no beef, no drive-bys, this, that, and the third, because when bodies drop, the feds come around, they make it hard to get money. Me, myself, I'm a felon. My cup of tea was robbing people, putting guns in people's faces, right? Um, robbing houses, things like that, right? The drug dealers on the block, my, my older cousins, guard brothers and them, they used to be mad, right? They used to try to beat us up and everything. They used to say, yo, y'all making the block hot. Stop robbing people over here. I grew up on 161st Street in the Bronx, right up the block from the mall, the food court. If you're from New York, if you're from the Bronx, do you know what I'm talking about, right? From Colin Ave, Merrill's Ave, Park Ave, all that, right? But anyways, right? So safe to say that it snaps and pop who would have the brains to know, okay, this is gonna get bad, especially after Marvin came and he was like, yo, where's Ronnie Mathis? You know where this could go, right? Even though Snaps seemed like he was prepared for war, you got to understand the conversation he had with his woman. Where they was like, yeah, it's going to be a big war. Um, everyone's going to be affected except for Switzerland. 
And then he was like, see, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but he said something along the lines of, yeah, Switzerland is not going to be affected until Switzerland is affected. I think at this point, they decided, right, to put together this plan. And they brought Canaan in, right? And they said, okay, we want to kill this war before it happens. We know Ronnie is the wild card. Ronnie has to be dealt with, okay? Ronnie is expendable. They more about money. You got to understand, they've been around for a long time. They did not manage to stay alive and stay in the streets and get money for so long unless they learned these lessons and they knew how to get over this, right? And you got to understand that they also still seen that there will be an angle for them to still get money off of Rock and Canaan as I'm going to get into it, right? Canaan will still owe them money now, right? From losing the plug, okay? It's not snap and pop fault that Canaan didn't know Ronnie, right? Was dealing with Joaquin's cousin who was sneaking work, right? Doing funny shit behind their back. They didn't know that. But they still owe the plug. Canaan will still owe them money. And mind you, I'm going to get into the, St the Stefano area of this too. You got to stick until the end of the video because you do not want to miss this information. I'm going to blow your fucking minds, all right? Now look, like I said, Canaan still owes them money now, right? And this will be another reason why Canaan will have to hit licks, okay? Because going into season four, we're going to see a heavy police presence, especially with the fact that Howard is dead. Tanner and the rest of the cops, they're still trying to connect Marvin, which will lead to the rest of the Thomas family being connected to everything to do with Jersey, Basie Projects, 40 Projects, the death of Howard, the death of Ronnie, right? Um, the, the 117th Precinct being under fire because of all this corruption, right? You're going to have Captain Burke. A lot of things is going to go on. A lot of skeletons going to come out of the closet and it's going to be hot, as of the end of episode 10, Kanan's drug career has been put on a hiatus. Raquel's not having it. Raquel's not going to be able to move work the way she needs to. And they still are going to owe people like Stefano and Snap and Pop money, right? And I'm telling y'all right now, Stefano and Snap and Pop, they are in cahoots with each other in some kind of way, okay? They know that Rock will still owe Stefano because she still owes him interest even if she brings his money back, which I believe she will bring his money back. And then with Kanan, Kanan is going to have to deal with the heavy police presence, right? Famous will be locked up. He's going to want to get famous. His bail pay and going to want to get him a good lawyer, okay? He's going to have a baby on the way. So he's still going to need to make money, right? Plus, he may have to pay early Tyler for one reason or another, okay? He has been introduced as someone who's going to be a new character in season four. He's somebody who has respect in the streets, somebody who's who we can expect to be violent, but they said that, you know, his loyalty and his help comes with a price. Kanan will likely need to deal with early Tyler in one way or another, okay? And now let's get to the Stefano angle of it all, which we can likely expect to happen, okay? Another angle, is that Stefano may be in on it since Snaps already told Rock earlier in season three that they have influence over Stefano, okay? And they said it as if, like, they could be bosses over Stefano in some kind of way. Or at the very least, business partners. And this is something that Rock didn't remember, she didn't bring up, but it's gonna occur to her at some point during the new season, okay? So the question is, we could expect Stefano to maybe be involved, but in what way? And how involved was he within knowing that Snaps and Pop were getting involved in the killing of Ronnie and having Kanan, right, kill Ronnie? And what could Stefano expect to get from that, right? Now, the plan could be for both parties, and I'm talking about Stefano and whatever he got going on, and Snaps and Pop, right, both parties, to milk rock dry until they either kill her or the feds get her, okay? 
while also pushing to empower Canaan, right? So they can eat off him well after the Thomas family is gone. In episode 10, right? Snaps and Pop, specifically Snap, spoke for Ronnie and told Rock that Ronnie needed 500K to free Canaan, right? They easily could have called Stefano and told Stefano that Rock will likely come and ask to borrow the money. And also told him that she has a crooked cop assisting her. Now, being that I believe that Stefano is either a rat now or will become a rat, that gives the angle for Stefano to be able to tell the police, hey, look, he can send them in the direction of Rock as far as them investigating who killed Howard and Ronnie, okay? And it'll take a while for Rock to even begin to believe that Stefano may have had something to do with it. And that truth may never come out until this one specific person who will be close to Stefano, who nobody's thinking about, right? Right? But this leaves room for Stefano to connect Rock to murder, like I said, and this extra person who could end up knowing all of this and use it for his own benefit in the future is unique, AKA Breeze, okay? Stefano, after talking to Stabbing and Pop, could have gave Unique the chance to kill Ronnie after Kanan leaves with Rock, okay? However, Unique would not have known that Kanan would kill Ronnie. For all we know, right? He could have sent Unique with a couple of his people and they were quietly waiting. They could have seen everything that happened. They could have seen Rock, Kanan, and Marvin leaving in the truck, right? Leaving Ronnie and Howard behind. They could have seen it, right? Easily with binoculars, anything. Like, let's be real. This is TV. So if Rock says, yo, I don't have the money. Something happened to the money. Seth knows automatically going to know Rock is lying. And he's going to make her life difficult. Okay? These are the things that we're looking at. There is a reason why Snaps told Rock, Basically, we got control over Stefano and he could stop dealing with you anytime we tell him or he could drop you anytime we tell him to. There's a reason why, okay? And then when you go back to episode 10 and you look at Stefano when him and Raquel are having this conversation, right? There's a quick little smile that just looks sinister once he agrees to give him money. And then also early in that episode, when Stas is telling Rock, Yo, kids are expensive, and he takes a shot from his glass, and he's laughing all sinister. This lets you know that these people are involved. There's no way we can expect Kanan to come up with this idea on his own. And then also, Ronnie got into a, a kerfuffle, right? A potential situation with Kanan in front of Snaps and Pop. There's no way, like, Ronnie is foolish, but there's no way he would agree to believing that Kanan would set up Rock and help him get money if Snaps and Pop were not involved and they wasn't the old head saying, yo, this is how it's gonna go, okay? And then behind Ronnie's back, they telling Kanan, yo, deal with Ronnie. I know you mad, deal with Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? He effed us over, he effed you over. This is how we gonna deal with that, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace. Can't teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's God-given. That's touch by an angel. That's on the dome, nigga.